I got a little problem here. Huh. That's not good. If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid. So I recently put down my second application of prodiamine and I fired up my Rachio sprinkler control and then I took the plugs to put in my, I'll show you. So this is the backflow preventer and I take these plugs out every winter so that water doesn't sit in here and it doesn't freeze. And so I put those in and then I go and I turn these two valves here. One, two, and look what I'm greeted with. So that's a problem. So my Rachio flow meter is kaput. I guess there was water in there from the winter and it froze and it cracked and now it leaks. And even though I blew out the lines, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. I don't have the time to wait for a new unit right now. So I need to cut that out and repair this system so it's up and running so I can water in that prodiamine. So let's get to it. Obviously, there's another one down in here, but that one's uh, obviously leaking, as you can tell. So, I've got excess water there. And I, I looked online to see if this is model PVB. It's a Toro. I looked online to see if there's a rebuild kit for this, but I couldn't find one. It's about $60 for a new valve, so... If anybody knows of a rebuild kit for this, let me know. I haven't used this stuff since my bathroom project, so I'm surprised it's, it's still good. It usually only keeps for about a year. Seat it all the way, give it a twist, and hold it for a few seconds. You always put plumber's tape on as if you were tightening. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, I turned the water back on, so let's give it a test. That's normal. Now in my Rachio app, I'm gonna say quick run. And my front right. Let's see, I hear water. Success. So if you know anything about me, I can't leave well enough alone. I'm gonna take this thing apart and see if I can figure out why this happened. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take out the batteries and see if there's water in the battery compartment. And there is.
just two wires go in from the battery door to the to the electronics and this is where the flow meter itself was attached to the circuit board I don't necessarily see where it ruptured That's the flow meter itself. So on here, of course I, I screwed it up, but on here is where it was split. So the water was definitely, the pressure was in here. It wasn't coming out the battery compartment. It was on this side. So I don't see anywhere that it could potentially have ruptured. After being able to watch this video about five or six times in high definition, I could actually say with pretty good confidence that it is the seam right between the two halves of the flow meter that is the likely failure point. And it probably just split from pressure caused by freezing in the winter. I don't know whether the pipe was definitely filled with water or not, but I suspect that must be the case even though I like I said, I blew out the line, and like I do every year, and I've never had any problem. So who knows? I don't know what to tell you, but I think that's where it probably split. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.